Hello, Brian Knowlton back with another super cool slide rule tutorial. In this tutorial, we will learn how to test a capacitor and what acceptable output ranges are for a capacitor. For this exercise, I will test a 10 microfarad capacitor. To test it, we set our tester to microfarad, which is located here, the MFD. The test leads will go here and here. It doesn't matter which lead goes to which terminal. The output must be no less than 5% under or 10% over. Here is the math. For 10% over, we multiply our capacitor rating by 1.10. And for 5% under, we multiply our capacitor rating by 0.95. So 10% over is 11, and 5% under is 9.5. So as long as our capacitor tests out from 11 to 9.5, it is acceptable for 99% of the applications out there. Now many people have heard that a capacitor can be tested with an older analog tester looking for a spike. Please save yourself the trouble and do not use this method. Also, a capacitor should be smooth and uniform on the top and sides. If there is any bowing or bulging evident of any kind, the capacitor is bad and must be replaced. This concludes our tutorial, but please stay tuned and let us introduce you to the super cool slide rule. It is the most useful tool in the HVAC industry. It is guaranteed to save you countless hours by giving you rapid access to all the HVAC data you need. Thanks for watching. Hello, I'd like to take a minute to introduce you to the coolest tool in the HVAC industry. Historically, technicians have carried four or five different slide rules. You have one for R22, one for R410A, one for metal duct sizing, one for flexible duct sizing, and yet others for diagnostics or troubleshooting. Thankfully, those days are gone. This one tool will allow you to charge a system with R22 or R410A and either the superheater subcooling method. The back cover contains required formulas, it has capacitors rules and practices, a wet bulb conversion chart, how to perform computations on series or parallel circuits, an electric heat strip guide, a complete system troubleshooting diagnostic chart, and how to troubleshoot compressors in TXV. Inside is packed with even more information. It performs sizing of both metal and flexible duct. It has the only direct reading conversion from smooth metal to insulation line metal we've ever seen. The majority of technicians have never been taught that if the insulation is on the inside of the ductwork, you cannot size it with a regular duct calculator. It has step-by-step -step directions for determining airflow through a gas furnace, electric furnace, or an air conditioning unit. It has pressure drop multipliers for duct work, as well as recommended velocities. And finally, the scanning of this QR code gives instant access to over 100 tutorials to assist the technician with every test and repair imaginable. You owe it to yourself, as well as your customers, to own this tool. It's less than $20, including shipping. The SuperCool will save you countless hours of frustration when troubleshooting units. Log on to our website and get one today, and I promise you will be a better technician tomorrow. And remember, every technician is only as good as their tools. Thanks for watching.